Hey folks, it's Jang here from ultimatercom I just wanted to show you some things about the sizes of the Axial Exo wheels and tires. These do, here's, uh, I've got the rears down here, I've got the fronts up here. They are different. They are actually, they look very similar. But the fronts are a little bit narrower. I'll just show you the, the rear wheel. Now this is going to look very familiar to a lot of us because this is designed to to basically mimic the size and shape of a standard short course wheel and same thing for the tire that goes on that and just to illustrate this a little bit I'm going to take a regular <laughs> short course tire this is a Proline Taser tire here and you put it on the Axial Exo uh, wheel so this is the Axial Exo rear wheel and it's a perfect fit uh, the bead lines up just right. It has the right amount of support in the in the stock Proline uh, foam inserts there. Everything lines up perfectly well, and this is good to go. So if you want to put standard uh, short course tires on the rear of your Axial XO, you can. It's just that simple. Also, if you just like this this wheel design, you can get a bunch of Axial XO rear wheels and use those on your short course truck. Uh, they do have the the fairly narrow uh, offset, the narrowing offset, which is actually technically speaking it's positive offset, but it's similar to what you would find on uh, the the ProTrack kit from ProLine, also the low C uh, 10 SCS, uh, SCTE and the associated uh, SC10 4x4. So that's that for the for the wheel and then the tire uh, here again a, a ProLine uh, reused wheel this happens to be a slash offset one but the axial tire the axial exo rear tire it's going to be a similar situation here where these will just fit right in so if you like this look of the the really uh, aggressive the hankook dyna pro mt design that axial licensed for their exo rear tires or actually for all the tires but it's the rears that fit. You can just get them and put them onto your short course truck with whatever appropriate offset of wheels will work for your truck. And look at that, it's, it's a nice aggressive tread, you know, all terrain, kind of scale looking, right? So it's a good look and it works just right. Either way that you go. The only thing about these is they're a little bit narrow and they also uh, aren't the softest compound. So it's more of a, more of a long lasting uh, uh, type of, of wheel for, for bashers. Um, it's not going to give you the maximum traction on, on all possible surfaces, even if you've got the right tread design. It's also a little bit of a, a rubbery, not a sticky, more rubbery, bouncy kind of kind of a feel to it. Now, comparing to the fronts, though, so here's a, a, a stock XO rear wheel and tire all mounted up. Here's a front. And you can see that both the wheel and the tire uh, on the front one is narrower and I'm just going to pull out my stock rear wheel again and you can compare you can see there's the difference it's mostly in the wheel the difference is eight millimeters the the fronts I'll just keep it consistent here the fronts are eight millimeters narrower than the rears eight millimeters narrower than standard for short course wheels so if you try to mount up a standard short course tire to these uh, it is a little bit of a challenge the beads are the same the same size and they will line up but you need to kind of narrow it in and short course foams these closed cell inf uh, inserts really are not designed to work this way so it's going to be a little bit funky the way that it sits in there you can see it's it's uh, it's good on the on the inside but on the outside it's for, it's really ballooned it is something that you can do you can pull it off but uh, I, I would expect these to kind of round off on the edges uh, over time. But it's an interesting, interesting look. Of course, you can cut down your own tires if you have the skill and patience to do that. But for the most part, it's just, uh, it's, it's probably not the, the best setup to do. Of course, with the XO, you can use these rears all the way around. So you can use a, a standard uh, wheel and a standard tire together and put those all the way around. And that is an option for uh, having a setup on your XO that allows you to rotate your tires and to use all standard short course tires all the way around. 
So that's it for the comparison. I mostly wanted to show you guys the compatibility between the XO rears and uh, standard short course tires and uh, both, both ways, both between tires and wheels. Uh, and then just point out that the fronts are not going to work for you unless you use their own uh, proprietary width of, of tire with their proprietary width of wheel. But if you want to, you can use all rears around and then you're good to go for a lot of aftermarket options out there. So I hope that was useful information for you. And uh, I'll be talking to you again very soon in the next video. Bye for now.